you were really clicking on the, on the first drive, I think, completed all eight. What, were you feeling good, you know, warm-ups and coming out? What, what do you think was working so well? Uh, yeah, all fall camp, been feeling pretty good. You know, I've been playing with a lot of confidence, just kind of rolled throughout the, today, and uh, Coach Leach got us some, some good plays, and then uh, offensive line was playing really good, got me some time to get, get the ball down, feel like receivers in real good with the ball in their hands. Do you guys ever talk about in like quarterbacks where someone has an edge over each other, or is this still competition? Nah, I just keep my head down and work. Uh, we don't really discuss who has the edge or what. We leave that up to the coaches to evaluate, and uh, my job is just do what I can to get better and put the ball in the end zone. And is it difficult for you with the changing offensive lines? You know, each drive you have to go out there, and it might be a different offensive line out there. Does that make it different for you at all? Uh, you know, it's, we've been used to it. We've been doing it all camp. You know, since. Last last spring we've been rotating ones and twos, you know. So I've been working with both L lines for a while now. So it's a little bit different, but it's it's easy to adjust. You know, you know, you know who can do what and stuff. Project Fisher over the last week, especially, has really come on. He's getting a lot more opportunity to yeah. play. What, what do you think of his progress? Roderick's taking taking advantage of his opportunities. You know, Roderick, as you guys know, he can fly. He's really fast, and uh, you know, he's becoming a more polished receiver every day. And it's it's really cool seeing what he could do and getting a guy that can float like that out there. You know, it's a big positive for us. Is, is he the fastest guy on the team? Straight away, straight out, I have to say, Rod, he, he's unbelievable in our summer conditioning. He's running circles around all of us, so it's pretty impressive to watch him go. A few more HBO cameras out here today. Um, Coach mentioned how you know, hate to see it become a distraction. How is it just uh, you know, seeing these uh, more cameras out there? It's different, you know, with the Cougs getting a lot of attention, it's a little bit foreign to us, I guess. But, uh, you know, Coach Leach at the home, you know, he draws in a lot of attention, a lot of positive attention. So having cameras around is no big deal, you know. We've had the drive beyond, you know, the drive or whatever with the Pac-12 Network with Yogi Roth. You know, it's a great series. And, uh, you know, we have cameras around for that kind of stuff. So we've been able to, you know, we're a little bit used to it, I guess. And we're good at deflecting uh, deflecting distractions. Has anybody, anybody talked to you guys about what to expect as far as, you know, their access and all that kind of stuff? I have no idea. One of my buddies who, Robert Taylor, played here a few years ago, he was the one who actually asked me about it. I was like, wow, I had no idea it was even happening. But uh, the more I look into it, it would be pretty cool, you know, for us to get that kind of exposure and stuff. Any advice from Calvin Jackson and being on Last Chance U, right? Uh, I haven't asked him much, but, uh, you know, Calvin's pretty famous around here since Last Chance U, so maybe this HBO thing will make him a little bit more famous. Prompted, we're in the beanie in August. Uh, yeah, kind of my hair's a little messed up, and you know, put the minor on a little bit to represent. So, there we go. Thanks, Thanks. Sweet, thank you.